the flag is going to be turned on. <laughs> Thank you. I think they quite didn't practice that song because the song ends with Amen. <laughs> so they forgot to, to, to practice that phrase of Amen. But I believe next week if we have a song like which ends with Amen, they will know how to sing the Amen with this. Good morning, friends, and welcome to today's service. I hope everyone is doing well this morning. Let me start by sharing that today we are celebrating the birthday of we are celebrating the birthday of Moshate Marshani and Ma Ma Fenene Boshomane Angela Sebata Irene Olivia JC Mashapa Rebecca Boshomane. Is anyone among you up today? Thank you. 
Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, ways, and deed, and in what we have left undone for the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord. Forgive us all our trespasses and grant that you may save you in the midst of God.
who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other God before me. You shall not, you shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above, or on the earth beneath, or in the water below. We shall not fall down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not want any will not want anyone witness who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work. Neither you, nor your son, nor your nor daughter, nor your maid or female servant, nor your animals, nor any foreigner residing in your house. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them. But he rested. <coughs> On the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet, covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his name or female servant, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Hear the word of the Lord.
A reading from the first Corinthians chapter 1, we we'll read from verses 18. For the message of the cross is fullness to those who are perish, who are perishing. But to us who have been sent, who have been sent, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, the intelligence of the intelligent I will frustrate. Where is the wise person? Where is the teacher of the law? Where is the philosopher of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God the world through its wisdom did not know, did not know him, God was placed through the fullness of what was preached to save those who believe. Jews demand sign and Greeks look for wisdom. Here ends. <laughs> but we preach Christ but we preach Christ crucified. A stumbling block to Jewish and fullness to, to Gentiles, but to those whom God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the fullness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the wickedness of God is stronger than human strength. And now here is the word of God. Thanks be to God.
When it was almost time for the Jerusalem Passover, Jesus went out to Jerusalem. In the temple, he found people selling pebbles, sheep, doves, and others sitting at the tables exchanging money. So he made a leaf out of court and drove all, drove all from the temple court, both sheep, pebbles, they scattered the coins of money, changes, and overturned their tables. To those who sold, thou he said, Get this out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a market. His disciples remember that it's written, Zero for your house will consume me. The Jew then responded to him, what sign can you show us to prove your authority to do all this? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple and I will raise it again in three days. They replied, It has taken 46 years to build this temple and you are going to raise it, it in three days. But the temple he has spoken of was his glory. After he was raised from dead, his disciples recalled what he had said to them. Then they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. How to live righteous before God and others. 
how to live righteous before God and others. One thing for sure that I managed to, to check is that each and every household it has its own rules and regulations. And us as a kid, sometimes we feel like maybe those rules, sometimes they restrict us. But the honest truth is that those rules they were set in order to protect us. Each and every girl, they have their own rules. It might be a mother's union, it might be a double F, but those rules, they are there in order to protect the girl. Whether we might feel like maybe they are too strict, but at the end of the day, those who have created those rules, they have seen that it is important for us to have those rules in the guild, in the household. It seems with this household of the Israelites, which we just read in today's reading, Moses is given the commandment. If ever we take it back, we hear that Moses went to the mountain Sinai. This is a mountain in which maybe he was given two tablets. Those two tablets, there were ten commandments on them. He was given an instruction to say, this is something that you have to go and tell my people. Those ten commandments, the aim was to live in a manner that pleases the Lord. Was to uphold the righteous before other people. Was to live in peace with one another. The aim was for them to be honest with one another, to be honest with God, to be high, to be fair, to show their love for God and respect for others. These rules, they were there to help them live in a manner that is good before God and other people. So in today's reading, in which is Exodus chapter 20, God gave Moses these, these rules, these commandments, in which we recited this morning to say, God, love of God with all your heart. We recited them every today. I don't know if I remember the time we were exciting. Did we be able to listen to what we are saying or we just recite because it's been protected? But we recite them. It was a commandment which was given to this nation, a chosen generation. These rules were there to help them live well and also to last long in the land in which God has given them. That's why today, on the Gospel of today, in John chapter 2, I'm not even surprised when Jesus went to the temple and find people who were gambling there, the Gospel tells us that he has chased them out. I'm not even surprised because from the rules, he spoke about the issue that you must respect the Lord's house. At this time, they have changed the house of the Lord and made it a gamble. <coughs> they were showing no respect and honor to the rules in which they were given in order for them to be righteous before God and others. As we look in the book of Exodus, those ten commandments, I want us to divide it into two sets. The first says, I want us to look from one to four. One to four, I mean, from the, the first commandment until to, to the, the number four commandments. Those commandments, if ever maybe we look at, those commandments, they were more about respecting or living righteous before God. If we can try to recite them in our mind, we can hear that they are all related to God. To say, respect your God with all your heart. They are all, in other we can check them from one to four, we can see that this one is just saying that we must live righteous before God. Remember, talk about each other. Worship only one God. Do not make idols. Honor in God's name and put aside a day of rest and worship. It's all related to live righteous before God. These commandments, it teaches us to put God first in our lives. 
and to show him respect and love. When we look on the other side, in which is from 5 until, until 10, this is more about a relation with other people and with one another. We can try to incite them to say, do not steal. Honor your father and mother so that you can live long in the days, in the, in the, the land that the God has given you. Instruction, honor your father. Do not harm others. Be faithful to your marriage. To be honest. Be content with what you have. Do not envy for someone's deeds. These commandments guide us to treat one another with kindness, with fairness, and with respect. Ever maybe you can just check on the, the, the fruit of the spirit. This what these commandments they are teaching us that it must be something that we are living towards one another. It must be a relation that we have with one another. Living righteousness, uh, living righteous before God and other means following these commandments. Not just following them as if it is an instruction given, but we follow them with heart. We follow them knowing that we have to live in integrity. We follow them knowing that we have to live with honesty. We follow them knowing that we have to live with compassion with one another. This simply means loving God and loving our neighbors as ourselves. This is something that may be so common that we read about it in our, in our prayer books. We can look it at the book of Matthew, chapter 22. It indicates that Jesus replied, Love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. If ever you can just look to that thing, it shows that you have to love God completely. It must not be a peace that you are loving God and the other peace is in, in, in other things. When you go further, you say that this is the first and the greatest commandments. And second is like this. Love your neighbor as yourself. It just pushing us to say we must have a relationship with one another. It pushing us to say that we must be honest with one another. It pushing us that we must not allow other person to suffer while we are watching. It pushes us to say we must reflect upon our action to see if ever they are causing anyone harm. It pushes us to say, what is it we are doing with our own reaction? Is it to bring people maybe to the, to the house of the Lord or are we chasing them out? As we go about this week, as we are going to live here in this temple, as we are going to return back home to live our own life, let's remember these Ten Commandments to strive to live them in a way that it pleases God and it uplifts other people. Not in a manner that maybe we are trying to take the recognition maybe to ourselves, but in a manner that is taking the recognition to God. We must not shy away to point people to the cross. We must not point people to us. Let us seem to live with integrity, kindness, love, and reflecting the righteousness that God desires in us. As we are living in this temple, I will wish that we open our heart to allow God to work in us. So that whenever we live here, we become a new generation that is not just living, but is living the Ten Commandments in their heart. If ever maybe I can say that, who, who from here who has followed the Ten Commandments, you see that maybe we can say, no, I have followed this, I have followed this. There's something that maybe is still missing in us. But in this morning, God is saying that it must be something that we need in order for, for us to live righteous before God and others. May God help us to live out these commandments in our daily life, showing His love to the world. Like we often say that we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice. Send us to the world. It must be demonstrated in our own action 
when we leave, they must see that these people are not just people, but are the people of God. Let us be a blessing to the Lord. Let us be a change in the world. Let us strive to show love where there is no love before. Let us strive to show that maybe we are more than capable because the one that we believe in is everything. I leave with you this word to see how can we live righteous before God and others by simply obeying these Ten Commandments and implement them in our lives. Not just leaving them, but it must be here in the heart so that whatever we do, we know that we are not just doing it for ourselves, but we are doing it for the Father who is the Creator. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Thanksgiving for his mercy. Let us pray for his church and 
in Christ Jesus, and all people according to their needs. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who promised through your Son Jesus Christ to hear us when we pray in his name. We pray for your church throughout the world and especially for this crisis and for the root our bishop together with the, our Chago Metropolitan. Give your church power to proclaim the gospel of Christ and grant that the we and all Christian people may be united in church. Live together in your love and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy. Yes. We thank you, Father, for the resources of the world and its beauty. Give to all references for your creation and make us worthy steward of your gift. Lord, in your mercy. Yes. We pray for the nation of the world and especially for this country and its leaders. Give wisdom to those in authority, direct this and every nation in the way of justice and peace, that all honor honor one another and seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy. Yes. We pray for our families and friends and those with special claims upon us. Give praise to all those lives and those living with us that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as he loved us. Lord, in your mercy. Yes. We pray for those in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. To all who suffer, give courage, healing, steadfast, trust in your love. Lord, in your mercy. Yes. We remember with thanksgiving your servants who have gone before us. According to your promises, grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Yes. We bless and praise you for all your sake, for the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord, for the patriarch and prophets, apostles and matrices, and we commend ourselves and all Christian people to your unfailing love. Lord, in your mercy. Yes. Merciful Father, accept this our prayer for the sake of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Amen. Amen.
Mahatma Krabha for speech as your hands will break the laws to be used for the church. Together we say, Sword of Sword Line, the heaven hand of our Lord, yet you will give us to be in the home of all things. We say that the fruits of our labor, all our desire, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And blessed the Lord of God of all creation, through the goodness of this bread of our which has a given human hand with me, for us to become the bread of life. Thanks be to God of prayer. And blessed the Lord of God of all creation, through the goodness of this wine of offer. Throw to the body the word of human men, for us to become the cup of salvation. Thanks be to God of prayer. We will continue with the second Eucharistic prayer on page 119. My dear sisters and brothers, the Lord is here. He is with us. Let us come to your heart. We need to the Lord. And let us pray to the Lord of God. It is right to give you thanks and praise. It is indeed right to our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. And now we do that because you have promised that whoever drinks the water that you give will never be thirsty again. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim the great and glorious name forever present you say. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praise, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and as we follow this example and obey this command, let us Thank <laughs> you. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in song of everlasting and praise, and together we say, Blessed be the honor and glory in the power. May the Lord be back together. Amen. And let's pray with your hands. We are going to sing the Lord's prayer.